Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be storing more photo cards into my binders. I'm very excited to film this. I have quite a few cards to store. This is the stack we are working with. It is honestly like mostly girl groups and then a bunch of Wano because I haven't put anything away since his comeback. So yeah, that's basically my brand right now. <laughs> I'm really excited to store all these cards away, and yeah, let's just get right into it. Alright, we can start with my Itzy binder. I don't have too much to put away, just a little stack of cards for them. Starting with It's Me, I do have two cards, which is very exciting. I have this Yeji and this Leah. I was able to trade for both of these cards, which was exciting because, yeah, this era is probably the hardest of the ones that I'm collecting OG5 for, so yeah, very excited to have them. So yeah, that's how this page is turning out so far. Still looking for these cards, but it's not really a priority right now. And then for Nacha, I don't have anything, but I do have some stuff for Guess Who. Okay, so I have these cards. I have a Che for this page, and that is it. I did buy Yeji's equivalent lollipop card. It just has not shipped it to me yet. But there we go. There is Che. It's coming along, coming along. I really need to just like buy these hidden cards, but they're just like my lowest priority right now. So yeah. And then for this page, we should be finishing it, right? Yes, we are. Okay. Oh my gosh, I think this might be my first completed spread for Etsy. So we have Yeji's Caution Tape, Yuna's Crystal Ball, Yuna's Caution Tape, and Che's Crystal Ball. So yes! Oh my gosh, it looks so good! My first completed spread for my OT5 collection. I am so, so happy. I'm obsessed. Love everything about it. And then for this, I don't have anything on this page. But I do have these two cards here. So I have these two. Again, I was able to trade for these cards. Which is just so awesome. I did not think I would be able to find trades. Oops. Hello? <laughs> I didn't think I would be able to find trades as easily as I did, but yep, there we go. Just waiting on this Yuna, and this will be done. Oh, these cards are so, so stunning. I love them so much. Okay, and then for this, finally, I was able to find a trade for the last Rujin Crazy in Love Special Edition card I needed. This was her jewel case non-selfie concept photo card and I just could not find a trade for this for the longest time but I finally found one so this page is complete and yeah that was actually it for itsy today not too too much I'm not missing too many cards honestly I have a lot of these on the way so yeah it's gonna be pretty slow progress from here on out I don't think we'll be getting a Korean comeback from them until like May at the earliest because of their Japanese comeback. So yeah, I mean, I'm really happy with the progress that I've made with them so far, but let's move on to twice. Okay, so for twice today, I have a little bit. I have been able to find a lot of trades for Dahyun's cards, so that has been so much fun. So I do have quite a few for her. Okay, I have a lot for Eyes Wide Open, which is exciting because I really love her cards for Eyes Wide Open. I think they're so cute. Okay, so I know for sure I want her table card in the middle. Absolutely iconic. 
and then for these so i'm gonna have to lay out jihyo and dahyun's pages differently because this card goes with this card and i really like this dahyun card so i want to incorporate it on this page so the card i'm gonna put on this side for dahyun is her card from this concept so yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna have to make it a little bit different just because of that. So yeah, I'm just gonna kind of wing it. Once I get all of her cards, it will be easier for me to find a layout that works. So I guess I'm really just kind of making this up as I go along. Yeah, this is definitely going to be rearranged once I get all the cards, but for now this works. I think I'm missing two of her music video set selfies, and then I'm missing that not selfie that's going to go here. So yeah, this is temporary. We will fix it once I get the other cards. I mean. I might move these up here, actually, now that I'm looking at them. So these concepts are together and these are together. Then it's a row of non-selfies. And then the three music video selfies can be together in a row. I guess that's how I'm gonna do it, I don't know. Um, we'll see. We'll see once I get the rest of the cards, but yeah, so much progress has been made for Eyes Wide Open and I'm super happy about it. And then for more and more, I do have... Where did my stack of die hand cards go? Oh, Jesus. Can you tell it's late at night? I am so out of it, honestly. Um, so I have these two cards. I did trade for these. So they go in the bottom row. I have bought these two cards, but the seller has not responded after I sent them payment, so I don't know what's going on there. Since Naokyo announced that they were no longer um, like letting people buy off of Mercari Japan, I have been on Instagram a lot more, trying to find good deals. So I have purchased from a few Instagram like US based sellers and man, it is just not the same. <laughs> it's so much easier on Neokyo. I don't like have to talk to anyone or like there isn't as much back and forth and it's just a much easier process, but yeah. I'll have to check my DMs about those two more and more cards. Red is going down here. And the white is going up here. Okay, so just one more yes or yes card and we will be done. I'm not collecting her hand card because I don't need, feel the need to. Um, it's just a photo of her hand. So yeah, that's it for this. Nothing for summer nights. I am very much so struggling with summer nights. I might have to see if anyone's like holding a group order for summer nights PCs and just try and join for the die hand cards I'm missing because yeah, very much so a struggle for me. But the last card I have to put away is this Nyan card for my OT9 set for what is love. And yeah, now we're just missing Chewy. Then we can be done with OT9 sets for at least the ones that I'm planning on collecting. So that's very exciting. And yeah, that's it for twice today. A lot of good progress, honestly. Again, it's kind of to the point where I'm not missing that many cards for Dahyun. So it's getting a bit hard to find trades. And yeah, I think I might just have to start buying the cards. But very, very happy with the progress nonetheless. Now we can move on to my mini binder. Okay, so this first mini binder is new. I don't think I've ever shown this on my channel. It is this mini 
collect book which i think is so cute and also having sulky on the front with all the bears so adorable i absolutely love it i did buy this off of amazon amazon has like stocked a bunch of like k-pop collecting supplies on at least like the u.s side of things so this came up in my recommended um like products page and i just purchased it it was definitely an impulse purchase but in here i'm basically storing all of the idols photo cards who i don't collect but i just want to keep so we have like my red velvet pulls from smcu we have some twice pcs from the ot9 sets i downsized that i don't want to get rid of these two this chaeyoung and this sana i honestly would like trade away but they are kind of damaged so i don't feel comfortable trading them we have NCT, and that's it. I haven't double-sided these yet. Um, if I run out of pages, I will double-side them, but for now it's fine. So for today, we have this Taeyong card. This is his Universe Jewel Case PC, which I traded for. This He's in the Earthquake track video outfit. I think it looks so cute. So yes, and then I just have a Stacy PC to put away. I pulled two of these JAR photo cards in my unboxing, so I figured I would keep one. J is in my bias line, so I figured why not? And if you're wondering the sleeves that I'm using for this collect book, I'm just using the Japanese size Titan Shield sleeves. Those fit perfectly fine in here. So yeah that is it for this collect book super cute again just for extra photo cards i don't want to get rid of i think it's a cute way to store them and display them so yeah that's it for that next up we have my girl groups mini binder so in here there's been a few changes there's been a few additions to this binder so we do have my espa collection in front and then behind that, I have a new collection, which is Billy. You guys, I am obsessed with Billy. I've been following them since their debut with Ring by Ring. And yeah, this their most recent comeback just completely sold me on collecting them. I typically try with rookie groups to wait until the group has a comeback or at least releases a mini album before I decide on collecting them just to make sure that they're like a vibe that I like, that I like their music. And yeah, Billy, I love both of their releases so far. And yeah, I just, I love all the girls so, so much. So I am going to be collecting, I'm going to be collecting Siyun. So that is very exciting. I have it set up for her. And yeah, I did buy her entire set for the first mini album off of Neokyo or Mercari Japan. And I also bought one of her MMT pops from that era, so this page will be full. And then for the most recent album, I did get the albums. I didn't unbox them because at this point it's just kind of late to be doing an unboxing, so I just opened them on my own and I did not pull any of her cards. So yeah, we will be needing to do some trading for her, but I am super, super excited about this collection. I just love Billy so much. I think they're super talented. If you have not checked them out yet, go and check them out. Their concept is so unique and I love it. But the next group in here is another new collection and that is Ive. Yeah, I finally bit the bullet and said that I want to stand and also collect Ive. Again, like I had just said previously with Billy, I do try and wait until a group has at least one mini album out before I decide if I'm gonna stand or not. But with Ive, 11 was like my top title track released of last year and i did end up watching their reality show that they filmed one two three ive and i fell in love with the girls and yeah it was just there was no question like i wanted to stand them and i do have a solid bias in ive and that is ray so i am going to be collecting her so these are all of her cards from the first release i don't know which card goes first, to be honest. So I'm just gonna put them in randomly. Then this is the first press ID. I did just buy these off of someone for an amazing price. So that was great. 
And I would like to get one of her pobs from this era. I really like the one where she has like the blue velvet gloves on and she's doing like the flower pot pose, but I'm kind of just waiting for like the price to be right, I guess, before I purchase it. But yeah, this is my little Ive section. Super, super excited. And we have Purple Kiss, nothing for them today, but they are having a comeback very soon, finally. And Chan has black hair, oh my God, so excited. Yeah, moving on to Stacy. So we have the setup for the new album. I only have one card to put away, and that is her jewel case card. I obviously pulled this in my Zoom in jewel case, so no one is surprised, but there is that. I do have a trade set up for her love version selfie and her Polaroid for this version. I'm in a group order for her Make Star pre-order benefit card. And I'm pretty sure I claimed like the young version inclusions with that group order. So I'm kind of just waiting to see my polls before I start trading for that version. But yeah, this collection is coming along. Love her so, so much. Love Stacey so much. Still streaming that album on loop every day. Yeah, I'm so impressed with them. But yeah, that was it for my girl groups binder. Lastly, we can do my Wano binder this binder we have quite a lot to put away so hopefully this won't take too too long but I'm just gonna get started with the larger inclusions just because um, I don't have that many to store I'm just gonna store the bookmarks that came in the albums I'm not gonna store the film slides because yeah I honestly don't care about the film slides so I feel like it's been so long since I filmed a storing video, I feel a little awkward. So yeah, how y'all doing? Hope you're doing well. Um, my life has been really crazy, so that's why I haven't really been filming. I haven't been in the mood to film, and I never want to like force myself to do any of my hobbies. So that's why I've just taken a little break, a little mental health break, which we all need from time to time. And yeah, that was it for larger inclusions. Um, I did just want to show I did poke some holes in one of the larger postcards from the album and I put it in here and I think it looks super cute. This was actually an extra. I got two in one of my albums. So that's why I did that. I probably wouldn't have done that if I only had one set of them. But anyways, let's get on to the photo cards. So... This is the stack for Wanho. Oh my goodness. So many PCs. This first page is going to be for version one of the photo cards. I don't have all of them yet. It has been kind of a struggle trading for Wanho. I do still have a few cards available on my trade and sale Instagram if you are interested. But yeah, it has not been the easiest. That's all right. Not really in a rush to, um, to finish this or anything. Okay, so those are all the regular photo cards and then these are the message cards for version one. I was able to pull all of these in my extra albums so I didn't have to trade for them. That is what that's gonna look like. Just missing two cards for version one, so not too bad. Then we'll just move on to version two. A recent development for me has been that my sister and I have been starting to get into a new boy group, which I never thought I would get into another boy group in this day and age. But yeah, we have been slowly starting to stand 80s. <laughs> which I know is like, hello, you are 10 years late. But yeah, I don't know what like spurred us to start like watching their stages and stuff, but yeah, we are getting into 80s. And it's been a lot of fun. I've always known about 80s, like obviously, <laughs> they're a very popular group, but I feel like I've just been always so consumed with other groups 
when ATs has like comebacks so I just never check them out but yeah we are we are getting to know them we know all of their names now which is good so we know all of their names I do not have a set bias yet um, I am pretty sure my biases will be San and Yosan, just, you know, off of first impressions. We've watched a few of their, like, variety content that they've put out on their YouTube channel. But if you have any recommendations, a teenies out there, if you have any <laughs> content recommendations for us to watch to get to know them a bit better, definitely leave them down below. Um, because yeah, we are, we are getting into 80s and that's super exciting. Okay, so next I'm gonna put the lucky draws for Wanho. I did end up getting all eight of the lucky draws, which I was not planning on, but here we are. And they're super cute, so I'm happy about it. But there are honestly so, so, so many comebacks happening in the next few weeks. I'm scared. Like, there's gonna be so much content coming out. I'm definitely not gonna be able to keep up. But we have Moonbin and Sanha's comeback happening on like this coming Tuesday, I think, which is super exciting. I know they both currently have the Rona, which is so upsetting, so I don't think they're going to be able to promote right away, but I am still really excited to like hear the album and everything. I did pre-order that album, so I will try to have an unboxing up ASAP whenever I get my albums. But then of course we have Red Velvet, which I'm so excited. The concepts look so, so amazing and unique. I am so excited for them. What the lucky draws look like super cute the olivia rodrigoification of wano i love it and yeah who else is coming back obviously nct dream is coming back and it looks so good you guys oh my god i'm so excited and then we have highlight making a comeback with their first full album i could cry i'm so excited about that and then of course purple kiss is coming back as well we haven't gotten as many um teasers for purple kiss because it was just announced, I feel like a few days ago. But I'm very excited. As I said, Chan has black hair. I think all the girls have black hair, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, so yeah, a lot of exciting stuff happening this month. And then of course, Suho is making a solo comeback in April. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So yeah, there's just so much to look forward to in the next few weeks. I'm very excited. There is a cat hair in the sleeve. Okay, well, now that I've destroyed that sleeve, I'm just gonna put two fillers in here. So the top row is the Key Town For You benefits um, for Wanho, and then these were the sticker hollow benefits from Soundwave. If you bought a set of Lucky Draw albums, you got one out of three stickers. I did buy three sets of albums, so I got all three stickers. So yeah, super cute. I don't know if I love that you can see the backs, but for now I'm just gonna leave it. I think it's fine. Let us do a little flip through. Definitely still a long way to go with this album. I have traded for two version three photo cards, so that's good at least. But yeah, trading has been not the easiest, so we shall see. But yeah, that is it for Wonho, and that is actually it for this video. Um, there wasn't too much to store, actually. I thought my stack was a little bit bigger, but yeah, I did just want to get a video out. I know I haven't posted for a really long time, and I'm sorry about that, but with all the comebacks happening in the next few weeks, I will definitely be active with a lot of unboxings. So yeah, if any of that interests you, definitely hit subscribe. And thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you soon with another one soon. Bye!